Hello and welcome to this brand new Saturday slot of uh, Bayonetta Saturday. It's kind of like Castlevania Saturday, but you know, with Bayonetta. I'm going to be playing the Wii U version of the game, which I've actually not played yet. I had to get the uh, cellophane off when I was doing it, which is going to be kind of cool. Uh, so yeah. Those of you who've never seen Bayonetta before are in for a kind of a treat. It's very crazy. It's very like Devil May Cry. Uh, for those of you who have, uh, don't go expecting anything crazy from me, because I'm okay at the game, but I'm not amazing, so no pure platinums everywhere, I'm afraid. I've been told this is the best port of Bayonetta as well. Uh, I mean, I played it on the Xbox, so... Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. Okay, narrator guys, I might have to suddenly stop talking in case the narrator guy says stuff, but uh, I will explain the game mechanics when we get going, but uh, for now, just uh, enjoy the crazy, is all I'll say. It's a hell of an interview, uh, an intro. Clans fell into disagreement and stoke the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war ended in the Umbra Witches. Thank you, Narita Guy. So, I don't know if I can get a quick few words in before. Uh oh, before that guy shows up. Ah, I won't bother. Like I said, I'll just let you uh, soak in the crazy. I think it's far more fun. Except for that guy at the back. He's just, he hates fun. You can tell by the, the fact that he's got a frowny face. Their victory was short-lived. Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the main Umbra. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. Oh my. So yeah, that's the explosive opening to Bayonetta. I don't think you get scored on that, at least I hope not, because I stuffed up a few times there. I'm a bit rusty, and the controller's a bit unfamiliar. The Xbox 360 is a bit easier to can't deal with. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> uh Alright. <laughs> if you say so. Thank you. 
Ooh, costume change. Sweet. Alright, what other costumes do we have then? Let's have a look. Because being the Wii U version, we should have some extra ones. So what have we got? Mushroom Kingdom Princess. Nice, nice. Oh, daisies as well. Nice. Lynx. I like it. Samus. Nice. So we got some extra ones. Um, I'll start off. I'll start off with the default costume for now. And what we'll do... Uh, next week, I'll pick a different costume to sort of show and go through that. that. Oh, let's save it. Why not? I will say that I wasn't kidding, by the way, when I said I had to physically unwrap this game out of the box to uh, do this. Because I bought Bayonetta 2 Special Edition. It came with this to begin with. But I played, I played this one to death, so I didn't really bother having a look. But I thought, now's the perfect time to uh, go back and have a look. I know I said the word look twice in quick succession. It sounds bad. And now it's bothering me. And I wish I could take it back. But I can't. If only I'd been born more witty. <laughs> or more educated. University degree doesn't count, by the way. That's just useless. I'll be quiet now. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you dragged me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. Oh, but they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God. Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity.
Let me tuck you in. Go on then, those of you who haven't seen this before, did you expect that? <laughs> Next time you want me hands on you, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo, how about you get out of here? You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money. Do you naughty little angels deserve a good banking? Alright, uh, there's touch controls to this? Okay, let's not ever use those. No, 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 no. No, 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 I refuse. However, I think that opening cutscene could probably... Hey, I know how to play. Okay, this clearly tutorialize me. Okay, because, like, there's no save on this. I think that cutscene sums up the game better than I could, so, hey. By the way, all load screens let you do this in them, which are absolutely great. So if you ever want to practice, you can just go... See? Anyway, may I? No? You gotta show me how to do guns, or we gotta dodge. Okay. The game does a great job of showing you, which is nice. Whoop. The only downside I've got is that the dodge is based on a sound cue as well, and I hear the sound about a second later because of the recording software, which is grand. But it's also based on 
uh, the flash of light. Which is all you can do. Come on, whenever you're ready, buddy. Let's do it. Whoosh! And that's witch time. And in theory, the, lady, the latest, if you leave it as late as possible, you get slightly more, I think. But some enemies don't give you much witch time, some do. Whee! Are we good? We're good. Alright. A very rare special uh, spiritual metal containing in the essence of a angel's life force. <laughs> Those are our currency for the game, so... As you can see, now we just kick ass. Or we try to kick ass. I gotta try and keep an eye on the angels more because of the lack of sound cue, but I think I can pull it off. Let's see. I'm a little bit rusty though, so let's see how we go. Bam! Oh, not today, Angel Boy. I love Bayonetta. She's perhaps one of my favourite video game characters like ever. She's just hilariously good fun. Alright, my friends. The good thing about it is you can dodge any time. Any time you're in a combo, you can actually dodge. So, you can use dodging as an offensive ability as opposed to a defensive ability. And like, say, I suppose like Devil May Cry, if anything. And as you can see, I can dodge up to five times in a row without any problems. Although these guns are crap. We need our proper guns. Alright, chum. Interesting fact, if I'm locking on with the one of the buttons, my dodge button changes? It's weird. Ooh, little cherubs. These are guys are cute. Hey guys. Let's go over here. Let's thin the crowd a little bit. 